Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So the pandemic seems to have introduced us to this idea of working from home. And in today's video, which is gonna be a day in the life vlog, I just wanted to share some tips and advice on how to stay productive when you're working from home. And I'm very much used to this, I feel, because I've completed my whole masters online and I've just been working from home throughout this whole pandemic. So I really hope you find this video useful and you enjoy it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you do. Comment down below and subscribe if you are new. And as always, we will dive straight into the video. So firstly, happy February. I honestly cannot believe January has gone so fast this year already, but I filmed this video on a Monday. And the first thing I'll say before we dive into my advice is that I've learned a lot about staying productive whilst working from home through making mistakes. I've learned what doesn't work. And so I've made changes and improvements and things have gradually fallen into place. For example, I've learned that not waking up at a consistent time just doesn't help me and also taking on too much work is counterproductive. So I've learned from those mistakes as I said and we are here today. And on this day when I was filming, I woke up at my usual hour of 7am and as you guys know routines are really important to my day. I love my morning routine, it's really important to me and I feel like routines are so good because they add structure to big chunks of your day. As I always do first thing in the morning, I will check and update my weekly plan. So you guys know I plan over a week or sometimes two weeks and then I make to-do lists for individual days and planning, literally planning is the key I feel here because it does the hard work for you. You make a plan and you just follow that plan. So as it was Monday, I was just coloring the things in yellow from the previous week that I didn't complete so I could maybe get them done during this week. And then I also like to prioritize my tasks on my to-do list for each day by numbering them and as I said I just follow that list I do number one number two number three and it just really helps me I don't have to think Now today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare and honestly if you have not yet tried Skillshare now is the time to do so for 2022. I love this platform. It's an online learning community with honestly thousands of classes for literally anyone in every aspect of your life. So you might want to manage your time better and then have more time for yourself and for like self-care. So you could create your ideal week with Michael Kondra Navicorn, take a course on time management for creatives with Liz, a productivity masterclass with Ali Abdal and then learn how to grow your own plants at home with Christopher Griffin. The diversity is so amazing. And such a cool thing about Skillshare is that their entire catalog is now also available with subtitles. So in like French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, it's so great, you guys. So yeah, definitely click the link in my description box because the first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And yeah, shout out to you guys and the Skillshare team for sponsoring today's video. So that morning, I'd just been doing a lot of emails and admin stuff because that's usually quite heavy and intense on Mondays at the start of the week. And my next piece of advice is to essentially do things at set times and do these things consistently. So for example, I wake up at the moment at 7 a.m. every single day, and I also try and start my workout between 9.30 and 10 a.m. every single day. And by doing these things at set times, they give you pillars to your day. You know, if you are doing something at a set time, then you are gonna stick to that and you're not gonna let anything move it around. What I'm doing kind of looks pretty strange here, but it was just me warming up because as I've said to you guys, I am trying to warm up every single time before I work out. So I minimize the risk of injuries and my body is ready to go. And I also say to myself, that I'm not using my phone or social media at any point during my workout. Whoa. I think it's like seven degrees or something. It feels really quite hot already. I've just warmed up and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's like storms in the north of the country. And that just means it's also really windy down south as well. The Coros Pace 2 is coming back out. And so leading on from what I said about not going on my phone, discipline is so important and my next big piece of advice you guys just have to be strict with yourself so you know if i've said to myself i'm not going on my phone at any point during my workout i cannot break that habit because as soon as i start to break that habit it's just going to be harder to maintain you know so you have to be disciplined and strict with yourself you know be your own boss so despite the very intense wind, this was such a good run. The sun was shining, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. It just felt so good. And yeah, it felt better than it ever has done. Literally, I just couldn't move. I hit a block of wind. Wow, that was 
crazy. I feel so good this morning. This run is so good. To say it's windy outside is a bit of an understatement. Can you hear that wind? Like the windows over there, I don't know why I'm pointing over there. But anyway, it's so windy. Like I, I was literally almost gonna blow away. Genuinely, I am not even joking. It was so windy on this Monday. But the next thing anyway is goal setting. So what I have recently started doing is I write down in my bullet journal every week or over two weeks, what my goals are and that helps me to you know focus on what i want to achieve and it helps me take action and make steps to achieving those goals so for example i might have certain workout goals i might say to myself i want to sign up to certain races by the end of the week or i might want to start working on a project that i am embarking on you know and looking at this clip i should set myself the goal to try and make a messy bum with kelly how good i give up with my hair like the wind has just destroyed the hair. Yeah, I didn't really do much with my hair today. I just put it in a low ponytail and I wanted to get downstairs to make myself my smoothie and then get on with my plan and focus for the day because basically what I try to do is each day I give myself a focus so on some days i'll be filming most of the day and in which case i will make sure my hair looks semi-decent other days i might be editing and just working on stuff for this channel or it might be a biology themed day in which case i'll be doing a lot for biology g so you know scripting videos or filming and editing videos or working on biology notes behind the scenes so today and when i filmed this video my main focus was editing just because i had a bit of a backlog so i wanted to get on top of that and the reason why i like to have a focus is because otherwise I find myself doing too many things at once and whilst you don't just have to be doing one thing the whole day that's not my point it's just to try and make sure you don't take on too much as I said and just find yourself not making any progress. Okay, so my next and very important piece of advice is to take breaks and to make them dedicated breaks because before I'd say to myself I'd be on a break but I'd be doing emails at the same time. That's not a break, Holly. And whilst I'm on my break in this video, I thought I would show you guys how to make a super easy and quick mug cake. So you just mash up a banana, you add one scoop of protein powder, so I used pea protein. You then microwave it for a minute and a half to two minutes depending on the power of your microwave. And trust me, when I say that this is so good, it might not sound too appetizing, but I just added some almond butter as well for an extra little addition and oh my gosh it is so good and literally like the easiest thing to make ever. I basically tried this recipe from TikTok last year and it kind of blew up but honestly I am so glad that so many people have seen it because you literally have to try it. So I usually take a break when I go on a walk and then after I get back so that when I return to my desk and obviously Milka is there with me, I just feel really motivated and ready to get going again. And when I'm doing my work, I am always at my desk. I literally can't work anywhere else. I will sometimes choose to work downstairs maybe, but my desk is my dedicated workspace area. And that is my next piece of advice. Even if you don't have a desk, just try and create a space that you can associate with working or studying or just getting stuff done and being in that zone. And that's why I try not to let anything else invade my desk space. I like to keep it clean and tidy and very minimal looking. And the only thing that can come in and distract me is uh, obviously milk. <laughs> So later that evening, I was doing more editing and quite a bit of stuff for Holly Jimia. I didn't actually have any tutoring on this day because again, I try to confine my tutoring to certain days of the week. And then moving on to my next piece of advice is to basically work in a smart and efficient way you know work smarter not harder to me this means working out when you're most productive in a day to get the most difficult tasks done or to like film when the lighting's good on the sunnier days in the uk and it also extends to things like meal prepping i don't do that much meal prep 
but I do do some and it really helps me on busier days. So that's what I did this evening. I made myself my dinner, but I also made a separate bowl with kind of like base ingredients that I could use either the next day or a bit later on in the week. And most of the time I use my air fryer because I honestly love that thing. Like I am so glad I bought one last year. And if you are thinking about getting an air fryer, I would honestly say just go for it because I am obsessed with it. And my final piece of advice for this video is to not neglect the essentials. You know, don't forget about sleeping, about eating, about staying hydrated, moving your body, getting fresh air, all of those basic essential things, don't forget about them because they are just as important as everything else we have talked about in this video. And so yeah, that was basically my Monday, another Monday in the life. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and you found the advice useful. I mean, even if you just take one thing away from this video and try to implement it in your daily life, then that is so good. And yeah, as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. I will speak to you as always very soon in another one. And of course, if you watched until the end, you get to see the bloopers because we love the bloopers. <laughs> So windy! Like the birds can't even fly! They can't even run straight! Oh, that's fine. The trainers are gonna get muddy. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm trying about. I'm just running, 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 running. We may as well step a bit. Good girl, Jimmy! Gotta get the camera. Can't leave him behind. Bye.